I, I believe that uh, sports is a great opportunity for people to have broader experiences and to learn from a bunch of different people. I think it's great to be asking questions about about the role of racism in the way we do things. I don't think I've seen that, but a lot of times those are the sorts of things that happen without the coach around. If I had seen it, I probably would know it, and I probably would have done something about it. But I don't—I haven't seen those sorts of things happen. Um, in terms of a bigger racism, a, a larger sense of racism, is there a sense of inequality? Is there a sense of some people are there and active and don't have the opportunities as others? Are there people who have who've had resources and not had resources? I think racism creeps into a lot of things that we do in our lives. Um, so in terms of personal racism, no, I don't think that I've experienced it. I have confronted other coaches, not about, hey, you're being racist, but I've confronted other coaches on what, what listen, this is one of the things that, that this kid in this particular situation might be experiencing right now. These are the sorts of things that when you say this, they might end up thinking this. Victory at the two-way state basketball championships was bittersweet, students say, because of racist remarks made during and after the game. Gray says he's run into racism at games before, but it was what happened outside the arena that concerned him even more. There's some dude in a Confederate flag do rag, you know, flaunting it. And then at a local convenience store, Darren Gether says what started as one person turned into more as the group followed them by car as they walked away. Point out the window with their middle finger and just say the N word. Why do people put categories on anything? Because if I see enough consistency, if I see uh, enough of people who fit this category can do this really well, then eventually your brain starts to assume that everybody in this category does it. If there's been very few examples to counter that, then people can, certainly as, as conscious as we are about race, sometimes that makes it really easy for us to say that black folks do this, or white folks do this, or white folks game is like this. When I see white people in the court, maybe your first prejudice is this is how they play, this is what they do, this is the sorts of things that they, these, these are types of values they have to the team. Even if experience might change that a little bit as you, as you get out there and play, I might assume that black kids have a particular type of game, a particular style. Um, you asked about racism, um, and I, I I don't know if I'm comfortable with the baggage of the word racism on this, but I've seen people, those same sorts of stereotypes. I've seen kids get get uh, uh, criticized by coaches or, or you know, challenged by coaches or have certain behaviors not, uh, not challenged because of the assumption that maybe this kid's game is either really, really athletic and, and, and and capable of playing against guys like this, or I've seen people that were considered to be too street, or you know, again, that the term being the term being the thing in, in question here. The kid is too street. His game is too street. He doesn't know how to play in a controlled in a controlled setting. Ahmed Hadadi, yeah. Where's he from? <laughs> he's the first Iranian to play in the NBA. There aren't any Iranian players in the NBA. He's the only one. Hisham Iran? I guess so. I mean, that Iran? Yes. And the real Iran. Yes. Wow. Well, Haddadi. That's H A D D A D I. Checking sure it's not Borat's older brother? <laughs> yes, I have. I've heard um, the crowds can be unruly. We go on the road and There'll be people that'll that'll holler, that will holler things uh, at or to our players or to our fans that that have been questionable. We've had issues. I I, mean, I, I, uh, I I won't you know sort of say names, but there have been schools that we've had we've had to uh, sort of talk to administrators about some of the behavior. I'd like to think that our fans have never done that sort of thing, but I think there have been people who've raised the issues about about our passionate fan base. Also, sometimes when when groups of people get get together and they start thinking as a group, you start getting to mob mentality, and people start sinking to the lowest element. The challenge is for us to make sure that we that we stay above that. As you see, Mills trying to come over and draw the charge. Rodriguez has already let the ball go, and 
He's a freshman, but he's about as cool as they come right now. No facial expression whatsoever. The beauty of sports is that so much of it is spontaneous that sometimes you just have to ask yourselves a question. So I, I appreciate having the opportunity to come in here and answer this and to think about the way we do things. So I thank you.